Hi everybody, this is Konstantin Leufer, your Programming Languages Instructor from Loyola University Chicago. And the purpose of this short video is to create and run from scratch a small, simple console application in Scala. And the prerequisite to what we're about to do is the JDK configuration from the previous video. So the next step now is to create a new project. We can do that from this welcome window as well. And on the left, we'll obviously choose Scala. And then on the right, we have two choices. And it's critically important to choose SBT, the simple build tool, because this is the only way we can use a single mechanism to manage any uh, external dependencies we'll want to add to the project later and have those consistent between the integrated development environment and the command line. So we'll choose SBT, hit next, and we'll go through these settings here. So project name, we'll call it Hello World, and double check the project location, make sure it's a place where you want your projects to live. You can navigate elsewhere using the little button here on the right. Project SDK should default to the JDK you just configured in the previous step. SBT version and Scala version you can leave as is. And now another critically important setting, turn on use auto import to make sure that this uh, consistency between the uh, IDE and the command line will be maintained. The rest you can leave as is. The downloads are optional, um, they take a while, the uh, advantage of having the sources is that you can then actually look at the sources as you're browsing your own code and you have uses of library files and you can then just browse those library sources seamlessly from within the uh, IDE. So we'll leave those checked. We'll hit finish and here we go. We'll let it do a little bit of work. And it's checking some dependencies. And now we can actually ex expand the external libraries node. And we see that in addition to the JDK, there are some Scala specific entries here. So let's now expand the Hello World project node. And we're going to add stuff to the source folder. And you will see that it automatically created this standard structure, which SBT and other modern build tools have taken over basically from Maven. So SRC slash main slash and then language or other kind of stuff and we can ignore the java ones this just suggests that java and scala sources can coexist in these sbt projects but we'll create our little hello world app here as a scala object so we'll uh, right click on that new scala class and now we'll actually choose object and we'll call it hello world and to make this object an app we'll just extend the app class and now here we can just like in a script we can write expressions such as print ln So we'll write this, and this is all it takes, very little boilerplate, and now we should be able to run this, and in fact, when we right click and bring up the context menu, there is a run item here with the green arrow, and we'll hit that. And here's a little surprise, well, not as surprising to me because I tried it before recording the video, and for some reason, it hasn't picked up the 
JDK that we thought we configured system-wide for this uh, Scala compiler server. So we'll just uh, hit this configure link and now we'll have to navigate to languages and frameworks Scala compile server and you see here how it says no SDK so here we'll choose our JDK and that should be it. So let's hit that and now let's retry the run so again context menu on hello world run and this is looking a lot better the first time you load a project or create a project it's going to take a little longer and it'll say it's indexing so this might take a few minutes also the initial downloads of the external dependencies might take a few minutes so just bear with it as it does that. Um, the next time around, it should go a lot faster. All right, so here it is. This worked. And you, we have now written our first uh, Scala console app. And uh, this is it for now. So I'll be back soon with some more videos.